Today's fast changing digital world, keeping our online stuff safe is super important. More and more often, bad people try to break into our computers and steal our secrets. That's why there are people called cybersecurity engineers and ethical hackers. They are like online superheroes. So in this video, we will learn about cybersecurity engineers and ethical hackers and understand the difference between them. In this video, we will cover topics like who is a cybersecurity engineer, who is an ethical hacker, difference between the cybersecurity engineer and ethical hacking based on various measures like rules, production environment, reporting client usage, problem solving, average salary, and companies hiring for them. But before we begin, let me ask you a quick question. So what is the main purpose of a firewall in a network security setup? All right, so first option is to block all incoming and outgoing network traffic. Option B is to allow unrestricted access to the network. Option C is to filter and control network traffic based on a set of rules. And option D is to provide encryption for data in transit. Now you can pause this video and answer in the comment section below. All right, so let's start with the first topic, which is who is a cyber security engineer? So a cybersecurity engineer is a professional dedicated to securing an organization digital infrastructure, systems and data. They are responsible for implementing robust security measures and safeguarding the organization against cyber threats, vulnerabilities and attacks. Cybersecurity engineers work proactively to prevent breaches and ensure that information remains confidential, available and integral. In other words, cybersecurity engineer is like a digital guardian for a company. They work to make sure that all the digital stuff like computers, networks and data is safe from bad people who want to steal or damage them. So this is what a cyber security engineer is. Alright, now let's understand who is a ethical hacker. So an ethical hacker on the other side, often called as a white hat hacker, is an individual with specialized skills in penetration testing and vulnerability assessment. Organizations hire ethical hackers to simulate cyber attacks and identify vulnerabilities in their systems and networks. They operate under ethical guidelines helping organizations strengthen their security by uncovering weaknesses before malicious hackers can exploit them. So to put in a simple words, an ethical hacker is a good guy who acts like a bad guy but for a good reason. They are hired by companies to pretend to be a bad hacker and try to break into their systems. Why? Because by doing this, they can find the weak points in the company's defenses and help them fix before the real bad guys find them. So this is what an ethical hacker do for a company. So this was about who is an ethical hacker. Now let's understand the difference between cyber security engineer and ethical hacker based on various measures. So first we will understand the difference between an ethical hacker and a cyber security engineer based on their rules. All right. So cyber security engineers are responsible for designing and implementing security measures whereas ethical hackers simulate real world cyber attacks to identify vulnerabilities. Cyber security engineers establish security policies and protocols ensuring compliance with industry standards and regulations. The ethical hacker primary goal is to find weaknesses that malicious hackers could exploit. Cyber security engineers or professionals manage firewalls, intrusion detection, and encryption mechanisms whereas ethical hackers use various tools and techniques to test the security of systems and networks. Cyber security engineers monitor network traffic and systems for signs of unauthorized access or suspicious activity whereas on the other hand ethical hackers provide detailed reports outlining discovered vulnerabilities and recommended remediation steps. The cyber security engineer respond to security incidents, conducting investigations and implementing corrective measures. On the other hand, ethical hackers work helps organizations proactively enhance their security posture. So these were some of the differences between a cyber security engineer and an ethical hacker. Also, if you want to become a cyber security expert, look no further. Introducing our postgraduate program in cyber security, your gateway to mastering comprehensive strategies for safeguarding infrastructure and fortifying data. Delve into risk analysis, mitigation techniques and compliance practices that are paramount in today's digital landscape. From foundational principle to advanced methodologies, this program offers an array of industry leading cybersecurity certification courses that from the backbone of your journey. Equip yourself with expertise needed to thrive in the ever evolving realm of cybersecurity. Enroll now and pave the way for a secure digital future. 
All right. Now coming to the second point of distinction between a cyber security engineer and ethical hacker, that is production environment. So a cyber security engineer typically work in a production environment where they implement and maintain security measures, whereas ethical hackers operate in a controlled testing environment. Cyber security engineers focus on ensuring the day-to-day -day security of an organization system and networks, whereas ethical hackers perform security assessments and penetration tests in a sandbox environment minimizing risks to production environment cyber security engineers work involves constant monitoring patching and system hardening to prevent attacks on the other hand ethical hackers work is geared towards uncovering vulnerabilities without disrupting normal operations so this was the difference between cyber security engineer and ethical hacker based on production environment moving on to the next point of distinction which is reporting client usage so cyber security engineers collaborate with various departments within an organization whereas ethical hackers primarily report to clients including IT and security teams. Cyber security engineers report to management and may interact with legal and compliance teams whereas ethical hackers communication revolves around delivering detailed reports of vulnerabilities discovered during testing. Cyber security engineers communication is often focused on maintaining ongoing security and addressing security incidents. Ethical hackers provide actionable insights to improve security. All right, so this was the difference between cyber security engineer and ethical hacker based on reporting client usage, how they report. All right, coming to the next point, which is problem solving. So cyber security engineers are proactive problem solvers, focusing on preventive measures, whereas ethical hackers are reactive problem solvers, concentrating on identifying and mitigating existing vulnerabilities. Cybersecurity engineers analyze the security landscape, accesses risk, and design security solutions, whereas ethical hackers devise creative ways to exploit weaknesses and provide recommendations for remediation. Cybersecurity engineers' role involves continuous monitoring and adaption to involving like evolving threats, whereas ethical hackers thrive to thinking like attackers. They actually have to think like attackers to uncover the hidden vulnerabilities. So this was the difference between a cyber security engineer and an ethical hacker based on problem solving. Now coming to the next point which is average salary. So a cyber security engineer, the average salary for a cyber security engineer is $121,000 whereas the average salary for an ethical hacker is around $112,000 per year in United States. So this is how much a cyber security engineer and ethical hacker can earn so if you want to become a cyber security engineer or an ethical hacker you can opt for a postgraduate program in cyber security by simply learn also listen to what our learners has to say about this course hi i'm philip i'm 61 years old and last year i upskilled with simply learn's postgraduate program in cyber security after working 30 years in the it sector in various different profiles I'm happy to tell you that I was able to clear and pass my CISSP and CCSP certification exams on the first attempt after taking the course. The course, I must say, was packed with practical examples. It was led by highly skilled certified instructors with many companies before as a security analyst and an architect on a contract basis, but I needed some stability, which I got with the job I just started with Infosys as a cybersecurity consultant. Happened on a first. All right, now moving on to the last point, which is companies hiring. So there are many companies that are hiring for ethical hackers and cybersecurity engineers and penetration testers. So there are a lot of companies out there, but some of the well-known companies that we'll mention over here is first one is Tesla, HackerRank, Lenovo, Test, Google, Unisoft Technologies, Cryptomize, etc. Please keep in mind that other than these companies, there are a lot of companies in India and in US all over the world which are hiring for ethical hackers and cybersecurity engineers. So there are a vast sector, it is a very huge sector where you can add value and, and make a lot of money out of it. So these were some of the differences between a cybersecurity engineer and an ethical hacker. So in conclusion, cybersecurity engineers and ethical hackers contribute to the security of digital ecosystem but their roles and responsibilities and Focus areas differ significantly. Cybersecurity engineers are responsible for maintaining and enhancing security measures, whereas ethical hackers play a crucial role in identifying the vulnerabilities through controlled testing. 
the collaboration of these two roles is essential in ensuring comprehensive cyber security for organizations in an increasingly like complex digital world so all right guys with that we have come to the end of this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i hope it really helped you all thanks for watching stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.